difficult times and pressure often produce genuine strength and excellence. Among major cities for the third year in a row, the Lighthouse neighborhood has the most people living in deep poverty in the nation. The average income for a family of four is a mere $14,500 a year. And that's why the Lighthouse continues its remarkable century-old tradition of helping anyone in need and helping all those who want to improve their own lives. Every day, the Lighthouse feeds 425 children two meals and a healthy snack, possibly their only balanced nutrition that day. 350 kids are getting an educational boost in the Lighthouse Head Start program. 135 seniors receive emergency food. They serve 5,000 people every year and no one is ever turned away. 4,000 boys and girls participate on their fields playing baseball, soccer, football, and 275 children are in their free summer camp. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lighthouse, which is a community center. There's a lot going on there. I am joined by John Lavery. He's the president and the CEO of the Lighthouse. And I know that we don't have a lot of time, but you certainly have a lot of programs. So <laughs> let's, let's focus on a couple. I want to start with preschool in terms of the offerings there. I also want to point out that it's not hard to walk in and get services Absolutely. from the Lighthouse. Absolutely. You can walk in our front door anytime you want. Any, we're open from 7 to 7 every day. You can walk in the front door and you'll, whatever you're looking for, we can go in and help you. Uh, we have 350 children who are in Head Start Preschool program bringing with us. So, you know, we, we serve you for the entire three, four, five-year-olds. So basically, we have families that begin with us at three years old and continue all the way through to their senior citizens. The senior food pantry still giving food to those in need. Absolutely. How does that work? If a senior wants food or assistance with food, what do they do? They walk in our front door and say, listen, I'm in need of food. And we go ahead and, and take some basic information for you, put you on our list, and we get you part of a regular program to receive food from us. We have issues of hunger. We have issues of education. We have issues of economic opportunity, and we have issues of you know, how do you respond to uh, the ongoing issues of substance use in our community. So yeah. basically, while the names change, the generations change, those problems have been prevalent in our community for a long time. So for us, we're looking for creative ways to sort of respond to old problems, new solutions to old problems is how the Lighthouse kind of views it. Founded in 1893, the Lighthouse mission to help with food, education, and social progress has created generations of empowered people leading stronger lives. The Lighthouse even invented the nationally famous Meals on Wheels program. And as difficult as these times are, the Lighthouse always delivers. It's an all-purpose neighborhood power station teaching people to strengthen themselves. The Lighthouse Fields are an oasis in the middle of harrowing urban trouble. The fields are a beacon of hope and inspiration, showing every young person that they can be leaders, and you don't have to be an athletic superstar to become a champion in leadership. And some of them are both. The Lighthouse's own soccer whiz, Walt Barr, became an international sports star when he launched the winning shot in a massive upset in World Cup soccer history against England. Barr went on to head Penn State's soccer program and his kids became four award-winning athletes. Casey became an Olympic and professional soccer player and sons Matt and Chris kicked their way to NFL football stardom, winning four Super Bowl rings between them. Without Lighthouse, our lives would have probably been a whole lot different. Without Lighthouse, he would have been making hats or working in the, the factories. I don't think you measure Lighthouse by the athletic success that they have when they come out. You measure by whether those athletes that come out when they coach, are they good coaches to the kids? Do they, do they foster their sports? Are they you know, giving back to the community? Are they, I, th I think you measure the experience of Lighthouse not in m my father's winning the World Cup, or you know, winning a game in the World Cup. It's measured on the fact that he had a big impact on a lot of the players that played for him later. And those players are having impacts on players that, you know, on people that they coached. I mean, I think that's the benefit of Lighthouse.
first airplane that ever landed in Philadelphia landed at the Lighthouse Fields. When there were no airports, there was the Lighthouse. When there was no money for a ball or bat, there was the Lighthouse. When there were problems at home, you went to the Lighthouse. Your friends, they're at the Lighthouse. When there's no food, the Lighthouse delivers and no one is ever turned away. When there was no child care, there was the Lighthouse. When people need education in a new land or bilingual understanding in their own country, they go to the Lighthouse. When hope is all you have and you need some help, you find it at the Lighthouse. A cultural beacon since 1893.